take heed. Are five kinds of people being abandoned in this era? The times have changed dramatically. The rise of a new era means the end of an old era. When an old era ends, there must be a group of people who cannot keep up with the new era and fall. Everything has its own laws of operation. New technology inventions certainly benefit some people, but they will destroy others. In the dynamically changing and highly competitive era, some people are forging ahead, moving towards the bright light, whilst others are killing their will and are heading towards extinction. There are five kinds of people who have lost themselves and are being destroyed by the times. The first kind of people are those who follow the crowd. They are completely overwhelmed in the information age, indulging in various illusions and unable to free themselves. They browse videos, watch live streaming, play games, always stay up late, and so on, seeking short-term pleasures. These pleasures gradually form a habit and routine, which makes these people gradually lose their willpower, lose vigour and vitality, get old before their time, live off their parents, and become born losers. The second kind of people are those who are diligent and busy without a plan or purpose. They neither have marketable skills nor have their own career. They are heavily involved with various social activities, have parties, invest in stocks, engage with direct sales, dream of taking big orders and making big money. They are busy day and night, keeping themselves on the run, wasting their lives by chasing their tails. They are hard-working, short-sighted, have endless things to do. They have unbalanced work and life, irregular lifestyles. They may eventually suffer from Triple H hypertension, hyperlipidemia and hyperglycemia and spend money in exchange for body care and longevity. The third kind of people are those who are crazily demanding. They are obsessed with material desires and pleasures, reckless with greed, vain, indulged in comparing themselves with others, doing excessive travelling, shopping and partying. They are indifferent to others and things within their abilities, simple actions which would benefit the public, they turn a deaf ear. They are mercenary, unscrupulous, ungrateful, doomed to die alone. The fourth kind of people are those who refuse to grow. They are completely indulged in their comfort zone, blindly trusting technology, unwilling to be open to new ideas and concepts, even less willing to take challenges and break through themselves. They gradually lose their willpower and sink into their comfort zone. When they achieve something small, they become insensitive to their comfortable environment, rest on their laurels, refuse to learn, and stop improving. They cling to old-fashioned ideas, stick to rigid life routines, becoming more stubborn as they get older. Sitting in middle age, they eat and wait for death. 
this seriously impedes the development and progress of societies. The fifth kind of people are superstitious and religious. They obsessively stick to bad attitudes, have no wisdom, have no righteous belief, do not know the conditions of the precepts, worship gods and ghosts, are superstitious in supernatural powers, enjoy pilgrimage, spread rumours, make false prophecies, alienate relatives and friends, and live life divorced from reality. They regard themselves as monks, but have no foundation. They blindly study sutras and scriptures without knowing how to practice. They blindly practice and are haughty and arrogant. But even worse, they are keen to talk about mysticism and treat monks without proper respect. Some people even don't have basic survival skills. They think they have the wish to save all sentient beings, but in fact they are selfish and eager for success. They wait to die whilst chanting the Buddha's name. These five kinds of people represent over 90% of the world's population. They are surrounded by a lot of spam every day. They are mentally decadent, with no direction in life. They are whimsical, waiting for something to fall into their laps. Sit, wait, lean, living as a walking dead, waiting to die at any time. Abandoned in this era of rapid and dynamic changes, only 10% of the people in this world are pursuing the enlightenment in life. They understand that being human is not entirely about eating and drinking, not for experiencing birth, ageing, sickness and death, nor is it entirely for joy, anger, sorrow and fear. They did not come for fame and fortune. Their souls came to the earth for spiritual purification and improvement. All beneficial sentient beings benefit the earth. They are working hard to do what they can. They are down to earth, optimistic, full of spirit and have boundless love. 